Diagnostics for Code P0447. The EVAP vent seal solenoid control circuit voltage was low when the vent seal control was de-energized, meaning the off we wanted full flow. The PCM detected this wrong voltage and told us exactly what to look for. It said with zero duty cycle or off, the control voltage should have been near battery voltage and it was not. Now this is set by the comprehensive component monitor. Again, one of those tests that are easy to run. But let's look at what we should be looking for. First and foremost, we need to check for an open in the B-plus supply. Maybe a blown fuse, whatever. We need to make sure the solenoid is good. We check the solenoid circuit. No opens and no shorts to grounds. And make sure the output driver is not short on the computer. Now, in addition to all of that, some manufacturers use this code for slow vacuum decay, dropping down slowly after the vent seal is opened, meaning it's sealed. We develop a vacuum. Then we turn the seal open, turn it off. It drops slowly. It should drop quickly. Now, low flow meter readings on our flow meter can indicate a restriction in the EVAP system between the test port and the vent. And we're going to do that just to make sure we're not working with these oddball situations. We can come in here and check a few things first, get them out of the way. Check for B plus at pin A. Remember, it might be nothing more than a blown fuse. The vent should, the vent solenoid uh, off should have full flow. We've got B plus. Let's see if we have current flow or sealing. Now, if it's sealed with a vent solenoid off, the control solenoid or output is drive, the driver is shorted or the control circuit shorted to ground. So let's go check for a short in the control circuit without doing a bunch of working. How could we do this faster? The vent control solenoid should have full flow with the vent off, meaning we got up at the top, no restriction. Remember, we're doing this test for two reasons. We want to knock out those codes that are set because of low flow, delayed in slow movement in dropping manifold vacuum when the vents open. So look for something that's dropped down significantly below the normal free flow reading. So we check free flow. We know the condition. If we're sealed, we have a vent that's drawing current all the time. If we have restriction, we'll see the free flow lower than normal. We've killed two birds with one stone. We're trying to remove some of the confusion we have here. Then let's go back to our specific diagram and say, okay, let's verify that we have B plus at pin B with it off. If we do, if it's not there, if it's shorted, we need to do more testing. Use the low amp probe to test if the shoulder node is energized. If we have the control in bidirectional set to off, and we come up here and we have current flow, we have a shorted control circuit or PCM driver. So now we've gone about and covered three or four different contingencies. No blown fuses and all these other things. The open circuit will not have current flow and there'll be no voltage at the control circuit. When we turn it off and on, we get no current flow, we get no voltage. That's where our amp meter testing made it easier for us. We didn't have to crawl under the car and try to find it. So we can use a combination of the different testing techniques we've offered to find the way that works best for your situation. Remember, you've got two or three different things that can cause this. We had to limit them all, and the current was a good way to do that, to verify the circuit was shorted, with the control off if we had that situation, and we used the flow to check to see if there was one of those manufacturers referring us to a low flow situation.